inside Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. We've got baseball on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Miami Marlins. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color and seeing the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Jake Berger. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. All right, first pitch coming up. And getting the start for Miami, Max Meyer. Well, because he doesn't have plus stuff, it's going to be critical that his skipper keeps a close eye on him. Second time, third time through the order, we see the OPS jump dramatically. Okay, all set to go. Now it's the DH, Austin Slater. And the pitch. Ripped on a line. Makes the catch. One away. Here's the Giants lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Matt Chapman. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he well, squares up the baseball a lot. Lamont Wade Jr., the next to hit, takes ball one. One out, base is empty. Right. And a good eye there. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second, and he'll make it safely. That's a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Jorge. Soler up at the plate. And a strike on the outside edge. Subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Right hander kicks deals. Oh. That one misses. One and two to count. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Berger makes the grab, two down. Michael Conforto will climb in. Hey. It's in there. It's 0-1. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Righty to the plate. Hit weakly on the ground towards second. Sends it to first. Out number three. One hit, one left. And now the Marlins will have a crank at things. No score. Back here in Miami. And on the mound today, Logan Webb. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? 
four pitch guy he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance so we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later maybe second third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes and he deals Check swing, tried to hold up. Now it appeal to third, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Good oh, eye on that spot. It's a good take. Fights that one away, still one and two. Left hand batter waits. Got him. Now one away. Batting check. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with him there for the second out. And time now for the Marlins lineup. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there understand what's in his repertoire be aggressive in what you can handle and you get three swings why not take all three of them with his control and command he's going to be in the strike zone two no balls no strikes, strikes to count two. strike hey. one two one Two out, space is empty. And the righty deals. And now the count filled up three and two. Him out looking with the off speed stuff. An inning in the books tonight, and we're scoreless here on the show. New inning getting started, and now the veteran third baseman, Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman. Meyer back to work. Way upstairs, ball one. And here it comes. Out towards left center. De La Cruz flashes the leather on the running catch. Got it. Got it. The second base. Tyro, Tyro Estrada, Estrada to the plate. Estrada. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no score. No score here in the second. This one in the air right field. That's out number two. That is that is the right fielder, number five. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. And first offering is fouled off. Outside. And there's a ball. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. 
Foul ball. And look First out break. as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So, man aboard, and up next for the Giants, Patrick Bailey. Pitch is in there. Strike one. And the right-hander deals. Ball in and play. now it's even up. Wouldn't All chase two. that time. We got two balls, one strike. And that one is inside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And there's a foul ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. At the belt and fire. Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. Around third. He'll score easily, and it's 1 0. Well, that worked out as good as it could have. We mentioned the RBI opportunity with the runner moving on the 3 2 pitch, and he cashed in by finding a hole in the outfield. You know, that takes a little extra concentration in the box because of the movement on the base pass. Easy to get distracted, so that was a really nice job there. Nick Ahmed here to hit. That to right. He's got it. And that is that. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Lone Depot Park, bottom of the inning. Now the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Yeah. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, one's the count. On the ground, right side. Wade takes He's it to up. the bag. One up, one down. Batting fifth. The center field. Jazz. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a pop-up on the left side of the infield. Chapman calls it in to a way. This lineup's going to have to find a way that to make him good. work a little harder right there on the mound. I mean, he is just time. mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Abasayu oh, Garcia stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And yeah, that's outside. The pitch. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball three. And there's the automatic. 3-1 now. 
There's a strike. Three balls. Whole team strikes. down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Great. Got him swinging. Nothing doing here this half. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Giants one and the Marlins nothing. All set for the Lead start of the inning. Now Francisco. it's the Giants leadoff hitter, hitter, Austin Slater. Austin. Slater. The right-hander back to work. Slater in his sixth season hitting leadoff in today's game and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2014. Next offering is in for a strike. Purple in an 0 2 hole. You're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. That one misses ball, the zone and the count one and two. And That's another ball. ball. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off the two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. So here's Wade now. Doubled in his first A B. Ball one there. Ball one, no strike. hit into right center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So digging in, Jorge Soler. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to first. A little bit low. Wade leads off first with one away. And a foul ball. Falling behind two and one. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And here is Michael Conforto. Grounded out his first time up. Nope. Just off okay. the outside edge, and it's 1-0. One down, base is empty. Foul ball there. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. 
two runs across in the inning. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And a swing and a miss. Two away. Now got it. Matt Chapman up to the plate Matt. now. Fly to left his first time. Slapped foul. The wind of the pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand up double. He was up all that over that one. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. And it's even better when it gets you extra bases. Love looking in at your dugout and seeing the guys fired up. And now Tyro Estrada. He's 0 for 1. Way what high there. And that is ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Off the mark there. Two and one. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Man at second. Two Aye. balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Two balls, two strikes. And a pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And on second, two down. That one lifted to left. De La Cruz on the move. He's got it. And that is out number three. The Giants strike for a pair as you get another look at the two-run dinger. It's now 3-0. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. Leo. Here's the third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. Well, after putting up a nice Whoa. inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Kicks and fires. Rivera Aye. kicks a swing. Now an appeal to first. And that's a strikeout. Matthew Ross says he went around. Really love the pitch Matty sequence Aye. right there. I'm telling the you what, pitch. pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Christian Aye. Bethencourt, the next up for the Marlins. That's Aye. in there. That's strike one. The Giants leading by three here in the last half of the third. Nope, Misses just the off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Clicks the outside two. corner. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. And oh. another ball. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now Not three in a row. Yeah, that's he's cool. really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches. Throw him where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Vidal Brujan in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike.
The 0 1. Bounced up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Marlins set down in order. Nine straight retired here to start the game. It's the Giants three and the Marlins nothing. Back here in Miami, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Mike Yastrzemski. Why the kick the pitch? That one finds the zone. Going one. Mike Yastrzemski originally drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. Ball to strike. Down and in, moved his feet. Struck right field. Garcia going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Thought that was a no doubter. Like the wind was holding that in this ballpark. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. He doubled home a run in his first AB. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Pulls it in for the out. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. And up next for San Francisco, Nick Ahmed. Right through there for a strike. 0-1. Swings through that one. Only two. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Giants down in order. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Marlins, Luis Arias. Oh, oh, yeah. The wind of the pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side and foul ball. You know, these Marlins just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Right side. Yastrzemski pulls it in, and there's one away. The designated hitter, number nine, Josh. Josh yeah. Bell at the plate now. Grounded out his first time. And that one sliced foul. Sliced hard, but foul. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Ball Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Bang. That's out number two. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. This kid yeah. picked up in a trade. Burger. A lot was offered and given to get him, but... He's got a real high ceiling. That one hit to right. And that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Austin Slater stands in. Austin. Later. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off.
That one, one miss. One strike. Good eye right there. Kicks and deals. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. This to center field. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. One up, one down. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Late with the swing there. All ones account. Shoots a line drive single into right center. So a man aboard now with one away. That's back to back singles for him. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Here's a big power threat. Jorge Soler. He's already homered here in this one. Up well, and in, ball one. Counts one and oh. We stands at first with one out. Ball and that's two. down it away. Meanwhile, activity no in the track. bullpen. Number 20 up and loosening in the pen. Puck getting loose as well. And a pitch. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. Righty delivers. That's and ball another three. ball. Three balls, one strike. The pitch to the left side but it is well fouled. The pitch and a ground ball to first and that's a fair ball. Wait ground second on his way to third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scored position and just one out. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Max Meyer is done, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. New pitcher for the Marlins, Brian Hoeing. Huge opportunity to add on to the lead for this offense right now, but we'll see what he has to say about that. He's going to have to make some great pitches to work out of this jam, though. The batter will be Michael Conforto. First pitch misses. Two on, one out. Base hit, one run is in. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still the only one away. Well done, drives in the run. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. One for two. And that one goes straight to the backstop. Runners stay put. That's ball one. First and third, one down. And a 
foul ball. Right handed reliever. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Well, in this situation with the runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Swings and misses. That's the second out. Tyro the batter now. Tyro Estrada. Inside and it hit him. And now the bases are loaded. Don't know where to go on that one. Just squared him up right in the back. Two outs, bases loaded. And now the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. And that's off the inside edge. 1-0. and oh. Here comes a pitch. Top of the zone for a called strike. Hey. Come on and missed 96 with that fastball. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Two outs. Out there to center. Chisholm under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Ryan De La Cruz. Went back to work. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. You know, these Marlins, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base forward. runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Way out front for strike two. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. The line of the pitch. Two, two, the count. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Up with it, fires the first. Oh. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Oh. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball yeah. the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And up next for Miami, Jazz Chisholm Jr. First time up was a pop out. Found no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Now Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Over to first, and he saved. Avisail Garcia up to the plate. Ground ball left side could be two. Flips for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Another frame in the books as the perfect game falls by the wayside. It's the Giants four and the Marlins nothing. Here at Lone Depot Park, top six. Now at the plate, Patrick Bailey. Patrick. 
Bailey. Bailey measures six feet even, 24 years old, a former first-round pick in 2020. With all these Giants digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra Whoa, base hits on the stat that. sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. Now nope. three and zero. Oh. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Three zero down. Ah. That one That's misses. So a leadoff walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Nick Pretty much gifted in first base with a Nick quick free Nick pass. Nick. And digging Ahmed. in for San Francisco, Nick Ahmed. And the pitch chopped left side and that chance handled the throw to first now one gone in the top of the sixth the the hitter, Austin Slater. now here is Austin Slater right through there for a strike Oh and one Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And he's got a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Lamont Wade Jr., the next Giant to hit. Three for three with two singles and a double. Just oh, missed. The Giants trying to break this one open. And we're the top half of the sixth. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Left hand batter waits oh, upstairs. Fair. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. That's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. Right hander kicks deals. Hey. One down, runners at second and third. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Righty to the plate. Good plate That's appearance the there. Able to take the walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Jorge. Next to hit, Jorge Soler. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. So here hey. in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. And that one fouled off. Bailey on third, Slater at second, Wade over at first with one away. Got it by him for the play. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto, one for three. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And 
that one wrapped foul. And he deals. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And the count even one and one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. So they load the bases on just one hit, but can't get anyone across. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Giants four and the Marlins nothing. And we're back. Go, Bottom go, of the go, sixth go, go, go. inning. And at the plate the for Miami, season. Emmanuel Rivera. Emmanuel. And Emmanuel. here it comes. That's in for a strike. Ooh, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Oh, Almost boy. got him. Straighten him up a little bit. And the right hander deals. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. Inside, ball two. Stays alive. And the righty deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Now batting. Catcher at the play. Christian Bethencourt. Bethencourt. There's one thing on his mind this at bat. Getting that first hit at the big league level. Right down to shoot. Strike one. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Ripped on the ground a second. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Up next to the Marlon. Not shortstop. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. 0 oh for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. In there for strike one. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The 0 2. The yep, shortstop takes the ball. Two down, nobody on here in the bottom of the sixth. Next Good offering down Good low strike. and in the dirt. Skips in the dirt. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Settles under it. And that is the third out of the inning. So the Marlins go with a new arm. A.J. Puck. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. And here Lee is Tom Matt Tom Chapman. Tom. The third baseman. Matt, Matt. Chapman. 
as the lefty gets to work and that's outside and that's ball one signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins Ryan Weathers the young lefty looks to be getting himself ready and he pumps it a strike well that's really the money spot down and away if you can locate that consistently it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up that's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen Chapman gets a piece there. Just the misses with that one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And now the lefty. Good job to fight that one off. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Two two on the way. Out to short. Bruhan. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Up next is Giants. The second base. And up next for the Giants, Tyro Estrada. Late on that fastball. In the on deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good hittable fastball early in the count. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. The right showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball, he let it get deep took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the play and immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Now the 1 and a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. That Four, one off the mark. Out. Now one and two. Nope. And downstairs. Two balls. Estrada, two the base runner at first with one out. In the air, center field. Chisholm makes the play. The catch at number 14, Patrick Bailey. Here's the catcher to hit, Patrick Bailey. Ball nope. one, no strikes. There's a strike. Now snap throw to first. Estrada back in on a dive. The pitch. Ground ball to the right side. Knocks it down, wins the race to the bag, and they do get the third out. The inning is over. So the Giants leave one, but they're in front 4-0.
And welcome back Lead to the ballpark. The Set for the last half of the, the seventh. Eight. Now it's the Marlins' leadoff hitter, Luis Arias. Oh, oh yeah. The wind in the pitch. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Foul ball. Oh, and two now. To the right side, Estrada. And a quick out, number one. The designated hitter, number nine. Josh. Bell. Here's Josh Bell. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. That one fouled off. Breaking ball inside. And the count is one and one. That one ripped. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Yastrzemski hustles it back in. And they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. Fought off foul. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. The Giants leading by four here at the bottom of the seventh. He swings and fouls one off. That oh. one close, ruled a ball. One ball two now one and two. Down. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Tyler Rogers, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Rogers, the power lefty, up as well. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That one's back there. To the warning track, makes the catch. Runner tags at second. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blown in from right field right now. And now, Brian De La Cruz. That clips the corner. Rudder at third. Two away. That smash towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Another scoreless inning. And now that's seven shutout frames. It's the Giants four and the Marlins nothing. Ready to begin the eighth. There's the shortstop at the play. Nick Ahmed. Ahmed. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Pop foul out of play off to the right.
Going to now. The shortstop takes the ball. Misses. Now two and two. Just missed. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Three. Runs it up to 96 to report the play shot. Well, he showed a lot of conviction with the fastball there. Yeah, not just because of the velocity, but also the ability to command it on the inside part of the plate. The last thing you want to do with two strikes is just get too far in there and it gets away and it hits the batter. So when I see a two-strike fastball bunch up a guy like that, it tells me there's a lot of confidence in that nope. pitch. Slater stands in now, looks at that one inside. One down, base is empty. Up the middle, Bruhan tosses to first. Oh. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now bad. Bad. the first base is Lamont, Lamont Wade, Wade Jr. Jr. And up next for San Francisco, Lamont Wade Jr. Good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Hey. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. And these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. In one the ball. dirt, and the two count strikes. is one and two. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Not even close there. Two and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The 2 2. Goes down looking. Giants are down 1 2 3. They lead 4 0. Back here in Miami, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now here is Jazz Chisholm Jr. Webb back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Webb into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Kicks and fires. Ball. One ball, two strikes to count. Swing and a miss struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. The fish down by four here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next one, one in the dirt. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and deals. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Solaire makes the play, and there's two down. Two outs, space is empty. Emmanuel Rivera, the next up for the Marlins, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. In 
there at the knees. Strike one. Pretty amazing. His first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Two down, nobody on. That one misses ball. the zone, two, and it's one and two. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. And that extends the inning. I could watch yeah, base yeah, hits yeah. like that one Look all day him. long. Look and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive in the center field. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Christian Bethencourt, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. He's in a great spot right here, ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. The pitch. One ball. chase that time. Rivera, the runner at first with two gone. Got him looking. Inning over. One left for Miami. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. We're back. It's the top of the night. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Number 20. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. And now the center fielder, Jorge Soler. He's already homered in this game. Here comes a pitch. And that's outside. Hey. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Righty delivers. There's a high chopper. Fires across the diamond. Now one gone in the ninth. The left fielder, number eight, Michael. Here's the left fielder, Michael Conforto. Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. In for a strike. And a count is 0 and 2. Miami's bullpen with some action. Ryan Weathers appears to be getting loose. Right handed reliever. Just off the inside corner. One, one and two to right count. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Out number two. And here is Matt Chapman. That one clips the outside corner. And it's all one. one. The pitch is outside, ball one. Chapman gets a piece there.
Next pitch misses way outside. That's inside. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. We head to the bottom Vidal, of the ninth, Vidal, and now for the Marlins, Vidal Bruja. Vidal. Vidal. The wind of the pitch. I mean, his pitch ball. efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Swings and misses. And a count one, ball, one, one and break. one. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. And that one is lifted in the air. Conforto on the move to the gap. One down. The batter, batter number three, three. Second, second baseman, baseman. Luis. Luis Arise stands in. Oh, oh yeah. Over three. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Yeah. And there's the strike. Nope. And a good eye oh, there. Yeah. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. On the ground to third, Chapman. And the Marlins with just one out left. The bat, the designated hitter. Yeah. Bell. Josh Bell, the next up for the Marlins. And ball, ball one. Count one and oh. Next That's offering is down low. Hey. And that drops in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. The Giants leading by four. Here, the last half of inning number nine. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Soler going back. And it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. So two down, and up next for Miami, Jake Berger. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. On the ground, and that one handled. Throw to first, ball game. And the Giants get a shutout on the mound. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.